Do you have an iron stomach when it comes to investing? Hi, this is Roger Grow at Grow Asset Management. Then you may want to short penny stocks. Remember, penny stocks are companies that sell for less than a buck. And if you're shorting something, you're betting that the price is even going to decline more. Is that a good strategy? It's pretty risky. And most brokerage firms will not let you short stocks that sell for under a minimum price. I phoned Charles Schwab prior to this, and Schwab told me that anything less than $3, they would not allow anybody to short. Different firms have different levels. Eventually, though, you'll be able to find a firm, a smaller firm, that may let you short. But there may be a smarter way to go about this. There are plenty of companies that are based outside the United States whose stock trades here in the U.S. in ADR form or in some sort of unit form, meaning the stock in their home country could sell for 50 cents, but if it's 10 shares to one trading here in the U.S., here they would sell for five bucks. What does that mean? Well. You're above the dollar limit that the brokerage firm would set as a floor. You probably get some advantage of increased volume because of that. But nonetheless, you'd be shorting, in the end, a penny company. It just doesn't happen to be based here. So that'd be the way I would go about it. In any case, you have to be very careful buying back stock. In a penny stock situation, it's very difficult. And it's not for the faint-hearted. Hope that helps. I'm Roger Grow with Grow Asset Management. Thank you very much for spending time with me.